can now support me on my Locals community, Tom's Train of Thought. Membership is free, and by clicking the Join button, you can support me for as little as $5 per month. Link is in the description and in the chat. Welcome to Workbench Wednesday. It is April 17th, 2024 already. And it's been, uh, well, it's been about two weeks since uh, I've been on here last. <laughs> I missed last week because I was in a hospital. So uh, last Wednesday morning, uh, I had chest pain, so Debbie took me to the hospital. 
and they kept me in there for observation and everything was okay until late Thursday night when I had some really bad chest pains and then they decided to open me up or not open me up but <laughs> go in my wrist again and put another stent in and when they did that they saw the uh, the doctor Punjani it's a female doctor she said the three stents that I had uh, three months ago were at 60 percent so she says my body is uh, rejecting the stents so uh, I went to my uh, primary care doctor today and I told him about it and uh, he agreed that uh, I need to get a second opinion and he's setting up an appointment with another cardiologist out of Orlando that comes down to Sebring uh, maybe once or twice a week so hopefully I'll get a good opinion to see what's going on but uh, what he thinks might happen is uh, I might have to go for uh, open heart surgery uh, to get all this taken care of. So we'll see. So at the rate that that's going, uh, 60% in three months, uh, it'll be 90% in another six weeks. <laughs> so I might be back in the hospital. But uh, hopefully not. But hello, everybody. If you haven't done so already, smash that like button because you know what that does. <laughs> But smash it gently. <clears throat> Don't break your thumb. Don't break your toe. Lick it if you like. Tap it gently. Do whatever you like. All right, there you go. So, hello, Curtis. How you doing? Jim Tedesco, Reggie Stroud, Gerald Stewart. Steve 87th PSAP. Uh, that's who we got on this side over here so far. It's in the chat. And on the other side, we got Why Are You Naked and Fo Fos Fox Faults Bailey Model Railroad. Rick and Rob. Okay. So good to see you over there. All right. So uh, we're going to keep it short tonight. Uh, Debbie's not feeling too well. She's got an upper, rep upper respiratory infection. And so uh, uh, she went to the doctor this morning and uh, he prescribed her a uh, Z-Pack. And uh, the first two pills didn't do her very much good in Mucinex DM. Uh, at least she could talk a little bit better, but uh, still down so we'll be spending some time a little bit later on but you can see i got all these <laughs> condiment bottles up here because i've been doing some scenery over here and i put a little bit of a, a uh, backdrop over there that is that is the fascia that i had on my old layout i cut some of it off the top and then put it over here and I rearranged some of the tracks right here so I could get, um, <laughs> I got to look at it, Shipyard Brewing <laughs> to fit. And uh, here's a little different uh, view of it right there. Uh, I moved some of the tools out of the way because I'll, I'll be uh, showing you a little bit of that right there. But in that little corner over there where the... Uh, uh, light is uh, on the right hand side I got some DPM modules that I'm going to put together and fill that in with a let me see one I got one story and two two story modules so that's going to be five stories high and then three sections across and then on both sides go back one section and uh on the other side, go back, but only two to get underneath the plywood right there. So uh, <laughs> I was digging through all the stuff, and I didn't have any dock level uh, doors, so I got uh, street level doors, dock doors to put on there. So that's okay. Uh, I didn't want to pull apart. I got this one way in the back air and i got a couple other ones that's sitting up on the shelf up there with some dock level ones but i'm going to keep those and put them someplace else so uh we'll work it out and uh hopefully uh i'll get that foss scale one to go right about right there 
on the other side. I rearranged the track over here, and let me get let me get this thing out. I'll get my cell phone out so I can show you what's going on. Okay. Let's turn it on here. All right. Okay, there we go. Get my finger out of the way. And, all right, so, hope it don't get you too dizzy, but I filled in some of the track over here, and I had to weigh it down with all the weights because uh, nails don't work too good in uh, in the foam. So, uh, I got to do it a little bit right here. I did that right there. Filled it in around that one. Filled in around the back over there of the uh, American Seltzer. And uh, which one? Franklin and McCabe or whatever it is right here. That's going to go right there. And this one is going right here. And I got my guy working on the uh, stuff, dirt right there. But right over here is where I'm going to put the DPM kit. And what I did right there is that's a 15-inch radius curve. And that's about two-thirds of a 15-inch radius curve. So I brought it out a little bit so I could get there. And you can see it fits perfectly right there. So that worked out good. So... I'm going to finish scenicing this up through here and then work my way up on that end to secure all the rails up there. But uh, here's what this looks like over here. I just put it up here with uh, the little T-pins to hold it in place. And I might do a little bit more painting on this thing. I just staged it up here to see what it looks like. And I have some blue paint for sky up here. And then I'll point, put some more paint some more mountains in the back and what I plan on doing is taking since I can't since this is up so high right here we're about right there I can't put the uh, those brackets in so I'm gonna raise it up a little bit and I'm gonna put uh, what is it one by two L girder one by two and one by two and put the one by two this way so it's uh, three quarters of an inch above that with another three quarters of an inch or half an inch above that. So that'll raise that up a little bit higher and tack it down along here. So it's just a little bit higher on this end right here. So this is what I use for the scenery. I'm just about out of it. I got to get some more of that. Flock and turf. And I need some more. Um, ballast because I'm right at the edge uh, you can see well is that the no that's a different one yeah that's buff ballast so I'm going to change it to light gray ballast from the, from all the way up around the rest of the layout but that's what I've been doing on oh uh, shit <laughs> Dummy me, I forgot to move the camera. <laughs> okay. Hello, Jeff. Good to see you. <laughs> Let me do this over. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's try this again. Okay. There's the little deal. That's the fascia that I had, and I cut it down, and I painted it, and I'm going to put some more shipyard brewing works there. See, it fits right there. DPM kit is going to go right here. DPM modules right here, and it's going to go up about this high to cover up this right here. And there's the... I did this track right here. Redid the track over there. There's the 15-inch radius, blah, blah, blah. You, <laughs> you heard everything that I said, but you didn't see it with this right here. But uh, that's right there is going right here. And those other ones are going over here. 
and I just have to sh secure all that up up there all right so say hello to yourself over there <laughs> hello okay there we go all right let me get this out of the way here okay there we go all right now that you saw it <laughs> who to thunk I forgot to change the camera view <laughs> all right hey Sparky how you doing good to see you in here okay oh there we go ha huh? I'm uh, not as late as I thought okay phone cam not working yeah <laughs> okay I wish I could have heard that it was working I just didn't switch it over <laughs> Ah, uh, leave it up to me to do that. Now <laughs> we get dizzy. Yeah, there you go. All right. So I want to thank everybody for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. Um, let me find this thing here to do the thank yous to everybody. You can now support me on my locals community, Tom's Train of Thought. Membership is free, and by clicking the join button, you can support me for as little as $5 per month. Link is in the description and in the chat. Thank you for your contributions during the live stream. I really appreciate it. I would also like to thank all the moderators who have helped me out in the past years. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like that guy over there said, thank you. Thank you very much. I couldn't be doing this without your support. And Sparky says, they used our imagination. There you go. <laughs> I do that all the time. I forget I forget to uh, switch cameras and I, I, I tell you about crap. <laughs> okay, over here. Uh, okay, it's not showing up. Why is that doing that? Okay, the wrong one is coming up. How come that happened? Okay, that one works. That one's not working. Okay, I got a web window on there, but it's not showing the web window. Okay, let me refresh. Let me refresh something over here. Okay, there we go. I had to refresh it. Okay, from Gregory Moss. Okay, this is uh, at Amherst. Let me... Boom, 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 boom. Okay. For immediate release, okay. Large scale limited, Sunday, April 28, 2024. Palmer, Mass. On Sunday, April 28th, the Amherst Railroad Society, Sea Trail, and Springfield Union Station are jointly sponsoring a train ride from Springfield to Hartford and return. The train leaves Springfield at 9.55 a.m. and arrives in Hartford at 10.32 a.m. After a 15-minute wait, the return train arrives and passengers are back in Springfield at 11.33 a.m. The train ride is being run as part of the National Large Scale Train Show. So <laughs> it's from... Uh, 
S all the way up to one to one. <laughs> so that is large scale for you. Okay, the train ride is open to everyone, whether attending the train show or not. The cost of the train ride is $5 per person. Can you imagine that? All right. Although children two and under ride free, for additional information on online ticketing, visit httpsamherst.org slash news. All right. Important, if you're riding this train, you must be in the main concourse of Springfield Union Station no later than 9.30 on Sunday morning for check-in. We are riding regularly scheduled C trail, CT rail trains, and it's important that they run on time. Okay, about the Northeast Large Scale Train Show. Uh, large Scale Train Show covers all facets of large scale model railroading, S scale, O scale, G scale, F. 7.25 gauge, 7.5 gauge, and larger. The show includes operation, operating model railroads, clinics, and manufacturers' displays. Okay, so there's that. Boom. There's rail serve, but let me, let's get over. Let's do this uh, the correct way. All right, there you go. New Brunfield, Texas, April 20th to 21st. That is this weekend. All right, there you go. And Crystal River, Florida, April 27th, Regal Railway. Uh, we we don't have any big shows in, in uh, Florida for a long time. <laughs> Regal Railway is a small one. Uh, but uh, Crystal River is a little bit too far to go for that small one. Then Timonium, Maryland, April 27th and 28th. Uh, mini meet and greet up there in Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore and Pittsburgh folks will be in the area. And uh, Southern Maryland and Pennsylvania and all over the place. And Springfield, Mass, April 27th and 28th. Large scale. I just uh, did the uh, flyer on that and uh, press release. Uh, should be a pretty good show. And then Reading, PA, May 17th through the 20th. Uh, it, it should be the 19th, ain't it? I, I might have that wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, we get, we booked the train ride for Friday and Saturday. And then uh, on Monday, I got a, uh, I'm going to Northlands. Uh, they contacted me a couple of weeks ago and... Uh, invited me up there again and i said that I'll, I'll be up there right after i go to the uh, meet and greet in reading so if anybody's interested in it i'll be up there on monday at uh uh northlands you know nothing big but uh they said uh, they'll give me a walk through and then spencer north carolina may 18th and 19th at the spencer shops it's a nice place we were there Four years, five, holy moly, it's five years ago now. Yeah, baby. You want to say hello? Debbie wants to say hello. Okay, let me put it on this one there, right there. Say hello. Oh, you can't say, oh. <laughs> hello. Yeah, she's having trouble talking. Okay, she don't feel good. I won't be too long. Okay. Bye. Okay, there you go. All right. Our train shows we have left on, they are over till fall. No shows till, oh my goodness. Okay, all the links. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I seen that you put out, up another live stream. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet, but I'll be doing it. John Long's Silver Rails. Good to see you in here. Okay. So everybody said hello, Debbie. Okay. So where were we? Okay, another Brooksville, Florida, May 18th, another Regal Railway, Melbourne, Florida, June 1st. So Melbourne, uh, and we ain't going to be able to go to that one because uh, we'll be up in uh, Maryland. Uh, my granddaughter's uh, 
high school graduation is uh, May the 6th, and my daughter is having a party for them on Saturday. Or, yeah, no, June the 6th. And June the 8th is the party. And Rob said hello. Debbie also. So there we go. And uh, Tallahassee, Florida, June 22nd and 23rd. We'll be going to that one. Uh, that's always a good one. Uh, Senior Chief uh, Andy Zimmerman uh, puts that one on. Always a pretty good show. It's about a six-hour drive from here. But uh, it's well worth the uh, well worth the drive. So we'll be heading on up, heading on up to Tallahassee. All right, so that's that one right there. Let me show you what I had. I don't know if I showed you this one right here, but here's a short 35 second clip of the. Uh, the railing on the front porch and i ha i still have to the railing on the front porch was a little more. bit too long so i had to cut a little bit off it. and what i did was i cut it right underneath this section right here and i chipped out uh, that right there on all three legs so now it fits uh, snugly underneath there so before it was coming all the way up to about all the way up to there and it's supposed to fit underneath there. Okay, one more. This, this is the, well, the full-size illustration as it says right there. So I just uh, glued it in place, the one side, and now I'll just have to flip it over and do the opposite side and then trim all the uh, pieces down all right so I said that I was going to do this one uh, for <laughs> on Wednesday last Wednesday but didn't get a chance but uh, this was on the way to Pinellas Park train show this is uh, route 60 between Lake Wells and Bartow got a grade crossing on the highway there Uh, we've been going that way for three years now, and that's the first time we uh, caught the train going across that crossing. If we was a little bit faster, we would have been able to get up a little bit closer. We finally got the train. Uh, yeah, we're way back here, though. Well, that's okay. We're still getting it. Hey, Frank. Good to see ya. This was on the way to the train show uh, on the 6th. Hoppers from the uh, mines up here. Bonus. White ones and the orange ones are more pot potash. Uh huh. A lot of those covered hoppers are from the uh, mosaic mines. Uh, in uh, what is that? <laughs> Cranberry, which is not too far from there, uh, where they mine phosphorus. Wow, that's a long one. And those are the empties out of Miami. Yeah, I like covered hoppers. They're awesome. You can put anything in them. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I can see it from this side. You can. Uh -huh. When we was at Steamtown, when we took the, the trolley, oh, 
There was covered hoppers oh. along there. There was a plastic plant. <laughs> it had plastic yeah. pellets in them. But it was worth it. All right, so that's it. I'm going to show you a few pictures of uh, the progress because I didn't put the video out yet. So here we go. Uh, here's uh, the cut-up piece of the uh, uh, styrene. Uh, I scored it, and that's how I broke it off. And this is some, some of the pictures of the progress along the way. Uh, I gave the the uh, vat on the side a base coat of uh, what's it, what's it called khaki, and then went over it with some black and some rust on the on the outside. You know, just uh, took a dry brush and hit the high spots on it. Uh, that's before I weathered the roof and everything. And there's another view of it. Uh, the vat. Okay. I do need a head count, so anyone coming to the meet and greet, please say so on the video. Eight. Okay. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll sure as hell go over there and do it for the museum Sunday. Okay. For the okay, there's a museum Sunday too. All right. And there is the side that has the uh, uh, the stairs and the little deal, you know, on the side over there. You know, see that thing over there. <laughs> and there's the front porch. It doesn't look too bad there, but uh, uh, later on it uh, it started to warp a little bit. Hey, Russ's Rocco Railroad. Good to see you. We're just taking a look at what uh, I've done on there. There's the smokestacks on there. Okay, that's where I put it on the layout before uh, I scenic it. Another view of it. Uh, and there's the, I weathered it. I used, uh, what did I use? Uh, soot. On the uh, on the ribs on there to get that effect. I brushed it on and then wiped it uh, with you know it's 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 got it's got it's one of those Tammy uh, brushes and I'll show it to you when I get over to the other side. It has a brush on one side and a, like a felt thing on the other side. Oh yeah, the NRA signs in the back, yeah. And there's the uh, all the little details that I hate. I think I did a pretty good job on them. It, it, uh, <laughs> it was hard. My back hurt. <laughs> all the different colors of the containers inside that box. And I put, you know, some of the soot on, on the porch also. Oh, there's my stents uh, see I got took three pictures of it there okay now there's when I started doing the scenery I think this is when it was uh, the glue was still wet on there uh, added some trees to the area some other views down low up high the back there's the two nra signs on there on the back of the buildings and since i took that picture right there i also uh did some scenicing in the did the ballast on the tracks over there and in between the tracks and there's the front there's the double slip switch right there There's the mess I had. <laughs> we need to wire up. And there you go. I, yes. That's what I need. 
Yeah, wood kits sure do turn out better than those Walters plastic ones. They sure do. All right, thanks, Jim. All right. Okay, let's. I think I got a couple more here, maybe. Yeah, there's a, and I'll, I also, I did some soot along the the roadway there. Uh, the gravel roadway is buff, and then I did soot, and then I put dirt over top of it. So it did. So the soot didn't uh, come out too dark. And another view right there. And that's all of them. Okay. So we're going to head on over to the uh, the workbench. Okay. Bama Big Man, how you doing? Well, I'm doing as well as I can. Not too happy with uh, <laughs> the results of the hospital stay. But we'll get there. All right, U.S. I'm getting some ITLA kits coming. They will be my first time doing wood kits. Well, you'll have fun with it. Not cheap compared to the plastic stuff. You you can do it, Sparky. It's easy. It, actually, it's it's a lot easier than the the plastic. Okay, so there's the workbench right there. That's the kit we're going to be working on. Let me take my beverage over there and uh, we'll unbox it and uh, we'll call it a night after that. So, and I didn't, I don't even have uh, the chat up on my laptop. So, give me a couple of minutes and I'll get the chat up. But this is it Lenny's truck service right there. This thing has been sitting right there for <laughs> over a week. Uh, i got to restore all the things. Google doesn't like me. Okay, let me get... Over to live. Pull that up. Why does Bing come up? I don't want Bing. Okay. Pop out the chat. Okay, got that out. And let me see. Rumble. Get the Rumble chat up over here. I'll be in a, there in a minute. I should have done this before, but I just uh, got new virus software, and I had to uh, delete the old and put the new one in on the laptop as I was getting ready for the for the live stream. Okay, let me put this over here so I can see what's on. Tom gets great deals on the wood kits. Yeah, I I get them at uh, train shows. Uh, the ones I got from the hobby store, like the this one right here, uh, he charged me uh, sixty five ninety five, and I think it's like fifty four dollars, so or fifty nine dollars or fifty four. So I I think it's ten dollars. The other, the last one, Shipyard Brewing, that. Uh, What's the other one that I got from another one? Uh, he charged me $10 more at a hobby shop. But when I get them at the train shows, uh, they come out uh, really good. Okay. Video looks great tonight. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, so before I do anything else... Let me do one more thing here. I want to show you all the DPM stuff that I'm going to use. Like I said earlier, I, I don't have the uh, dock level doors. 
but I got the regular doors the uh, ground level doors let me get is it but uh, get all the windows out of the way but these are gonna go on the side I'm gonna have one one of these and then four of these going up on the one side and then I don't know if you can see it there. I got two dock doors there and then a storefront. And then on the other side, I got a dock level uh, walk in door. That's going to be on the other side, but that's only going up like three levels because uh, I have to go do like this because uh, we got the. Uh, plywood over top of it but this is how I'm going to do it okay boom so first floor second third fourth and fifth floor there we go that's how high it's going to be so how how high is that Boom, 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 boom. So that's 18 minus 7. So 11 inches. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to try something different on that. Normally what I would do is, is paint this and then go over real light with the grout. But what I've been doing on the other kits... I've been doing the grout first with the lighter color, either white or gray, and then and brush lightly over it with the brick color. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do it in red or maybe yellow, because a lot of the a lot of the brick buildings up in Pennsylvania use yellow brick. Okay, so that's that let's get to down to business I put a new blade in here and it is sealed a double seal right there it's been waiting for you so here we go Ooh, yeah All right, interior bracing. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a bunch of tires, stacks and stacks of tires, all kind of junk. It looks like a, a workbench with uh, speakers, <laughs> boxes, crates and stuff, chimney. Uh, they look like they're all resin. Okay, interior bracing. Here's all the goodies right there. We got some more fence. And we got some pallets. Uh, maybe this is a, uh, a light pole. Gas pumps. Barrels. Soda machine. All right. Uh... Well, a little triangle. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll figure it out. And tar paper roof. And here's the instructions. And 2021 and 2022 catalog. So we're a little bit behind on that one. This is an older kit. But, uh, you know, they're always fun to look at. So let's just walk through this real quick. Oops, here we go. They got a 3D picture of it right there, or a drawing of it right there. I'm not going to open up anything tonight, so you know, because I said I was going to keep this short. So, this is, it's got wood and brick siding on there. And then two different, uh, this is vertical, 
horizontal and then over on this side is the brick so yeah I gotta move it away from the light for so you can see it but you know the, the usual stuff the parts break down so we could do an inventory on there and here's the garage door bracing the front all that good stuff right here read your directions oh this is the sky is this the skylight right here yeah maybe that's the skylight okay all right awesome no maybe not because that's pointed so we'll figure it well let me read let me read the directions okay where to go It'd be nice if I could get the pages separated I don't see it on here it says HO so might have to read the directions to see uh, what that is for and sometimes they stick stuff in there that uh, surprises you and what I noticed on on the last kit when they when they tell you where to put the bracing uh, some of the bracing I, I don't I think I did it on the last workbench Wednesday but uh, <laughs> it was wrong so that's one reason why to use uh, Aileen's tacky glue because it's easy to get off if uh, if the instructions are wrong or you make a mistake so gonna gonna be a nice kit uh, don't know where I'm gonna put it maybe I'll I'll put it right next to my other garage where is it? where do I have the garage okay yeah here it is hold on a second smokestack came off the thing but here's Darnell's this is a FOSS kit I got to do some dusting here with the smokestack broke off of this right here but this was a nice kit to put together right here but maybe I'll put Lenny's truck service right next to this one I like I like buildings that have all the different angles on it and a lot of detail on it man is that thing dusty who look at that I'm gonna start sneezing here in a minute and on on these I just put one one hole in the roof to hold it into place for the signs you could do that on a flat roof not so much on a on a angled roof oh my goodness look at all that dust Whew. I'm surprised there's no lizard or frog poop on here because <laughs> I, I find little lizard poops everywhere or it could be frog poops but uh, I, I liked doing this kit and you know the Lenny's reminds me of this one right here that's going to be awesome to put together so stick that back up there and put this back up on the top
Okay. All right. Yeah, I need a bunch of junk cars. I sure do. <laughs> All right. So. Oh. Here's some of the trees that I used. 274 at Hobby Lobby on clearance. I used three of them so far. And uh, these right here. Yeah, I opened that one up and opened this one up right here. JTT. Uh, natural foliage tree and woods edge trees. So both well four nine four ninety nine for these right here the tall ones and ten ninety nine for the short ones go figure but I guess you got you get more of them over here so I got two of these so I could cluster them all together so we got that down pat so all right let me go get back over to the other side and uh Finish this up, and we'll look at the this catalog here. Always like to look at the catalogs. Uh, all right, back over here. Catalog. It's probably the same one that they got up on the on the website. I don't know if they updated it. Uh, he had a catalog up here somewhere. Let me see. Downloadable book. Okay. How to. They used to have the catalog on here. Check out. Okay. 24 page catalog. Okay. Yep, same one. <laughs> Go figure. They haven't updated it in two years, or maybe even three years, but that's the same one. So let's see what we got here. Is it? Yeah, I like I like doing that. All right. Oop. Let's do it that way. I got one something similar to this, but I think it was uh, 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 American uh, American Laser or whatever. I got that one, Four Finger Tonys. I got that one right there. Majestic Hardware. I got two of them. There's Lenny's right there. I got Wicked Wanda's. Crown Crate. Crown Crate was the very first one that I ever did. Hey, Blame Smoke. Good to see you. Better late than never. And Steve got to run. Dinner time. Thanks for stopping in, Steve. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Okay. We're just looking through the catalog here. Mooney's Plumbing. I got that one. Shaw's Ridge. I got that one. Shipyard Brewing. Uh, just got that one over there. This is a nice one over here, too. Maybe one day. Waycross Train Spotter. Good to see you. An Apache 2018. Hope all is well, Jim. Been laid up with back problems. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I go, I go to see my uh, uh, joint and spine doctor tomorrow. The problem I was having with my hips, they said it's my back. Dumfries Hardware, uh, I got that one. And Bull Salvage, I got that one also. And Earl's Oil, right back here. I got that one. 
That would be a nice one to do, T.J. Riley's. I think I, I, I looked into that one time, but they were out of stock. Ghibli Furniture, I got that one. I got the twin utility sheds. I got two of them built, and I got an, another kit. I got a couple more kits on the bottom that are small ones. Tyluk Tools I got. Idaho Hotel. I just did that one. Schmitzensen's. I did that one. That's up in the corner up there. All right. Yeah, we're all just getting old. Let's see what Raycross said. There was head-on CSX train collision Monday in Folkestone, Georgia. CSX intermodal train hit a CSX rock train. Oh, my goodness. I have sciatica. Sucks. I know Debbie, Debbie has problems with her back. She's been having problems for a long time. Yeah, we all just getting old. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so what else do we got here? The Freight House at Cranberry. Or, and man, I might need to get that one right there. That's a nice looking one. American Seltzer I just did. Fishing Shack, I got that one. Amos Cutter. Babcock Bowler, I got that one. Waterfront Willies, I got. The Dock House, I got. Dollies, I got. Potter's Pub and Flaherty and McCabe, I got. And Chalky Whites. The only one I don't have out of that Cundy Village is the uh, Elvin Hat. Company and Cundy Hotel. This is a nice one here. Troy Hill Lumber. But that one uh, was a limited edition one. We'll have to see. I like that one. And that's it. Bailey's Produce. All right. That was the whole thing. Okay. So there's the catalog right there. Okay. So I'm going to call it a night. We're going to see you next Wednesday. We're going to take care of some stuff. <laughs> I got a doctor appointment tomorrow. Uh, maybe Debbie will hit her doctor again tomorrow. And then she she goes to her stomach doctor on Friday. Yeah, I'll have to order a booty corner. Yeah, I seen at one of the train shows, somebody picked up a sweaty Betty's for uh, 15 bucks. Yeah, Art needs to complete your set for him. He's not doing any new ones. He's doing those overnighters. I get, he, they got four overnighters in HO and O scale, but he's not doing the regular regular kits. Uh, but hopefully when I'm up in that area, after I hit the Northlands, I'm going up to Connecticut to see my sister in Hartford. And then I'll hit Maine. Say hello to Art and Company. Russ is Rocco. Rockin' O and HO trains and stuff. I have had several back problems for 10 years. No fun at all. I have to sleep in a recliner. Yeah, I've been sleeping in a recliner for three years now. I can't sleep in, in a bed. Um, I had surgery in... 80, 87. I had a herniated disc. Got hurt at work. Good night, guys. Glad to see you doing well, Tom. Okay. Good night. Good night, everyone. All right. So let's cut this thing off. Uh, do the end thing. And uh, see you all on next Wednesday. Tomorrow, Jim, on your show. And then, Sparky, I'm going to have to look at your live stream to, and comment on it about going uh, maybe we'll get to hit the museum on sunday also so thank you all for stopping in we'll see you again engineer where are you headed carry me back to 10
Tennessee. Oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting. I'm his She's married. Mr. Kane. Might even go back to get another shot of the swirly smoke. There's the swirly smoke. All right. And I left Columbus around seven. Oh, Lord, they hit blue about nine. And poor boy's heart started overheat. Sending Train, won't you carry me home? Good night, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Have fun. Bye bye. Okay. Our Vita Zane. Uh oh. Did the wrong one. There you go. <laughs> I'll get this thing right.